Okay, welcome back to day two of SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of OpenStack Summit. We're here live for day two of three days of blanket coverage of OpenStack Summit where the cloud is evolving to going mainstream in the enterprise, in service providers. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, and I'm joined with Jeff Frick, my co-host uh, this week. Dave Vellante is back on the East Coast. Uh, shout out to Dave Vellante, at D Vellante. And, uh, Dave, we miss you, but Jeff's doing a great job and the numbers are going up, so uh, Jeff, Dave's that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I can compete with Dave, John. I, I'll get the tie. Dave's a better looking guy than I am, but uh, we, we're having a great time at the summit. And I don't know, last night, John, as I was thinking about today, it, it's was fascinating about the tech industry specifically and, and the valley is how the innovation keeps coming and just keeps rolling in waves. And, and you think of innovation coming out of little companies and we've got some of that here, but I think the story of how the OpenStack project started with guys from NASA and Rackspace meeting at the Ames Research Center and just finding out that they have a lot of common interests in the way they would attack this problem I think is fascinating. I think the Hortonworks story, how they spin out Hadoop from Yahoo and, and created this whole uh, open source community and really an industry around uh, Hadoop and how that has kind of ha happened is, is, is very powerful. So the, this continuing wave of transformation and, and new ways of finding uh, innovation and spinning out of these big companies and it's, it's, uh, it's really exciting times. I'm, I'm excited for our day today. We've got a great list of guests uh, lined up, big companies, little companies. Let's, so day two is all about uh, digging deep, and this is really day two of theCUBE at OpenStack Summit, but this is really day one of the actual conference. Yesterday was uh, all the one-on-one -on -one briefings. We had, they had the analyst meeting, we had Wikibon here, uh, David Floyer, going deep, deep dive on all the expertise from the vendors, but more importantly, end users. And what you're seeing here at OpenStack, and I tweeted this earlier, that it's not a lot of marketing hype here. No vendor, no vendor rah-rah going on. There's some PR going on, obviously some press releases, we're covering that on siliconangle.com in a big way, but the real story here, Jeff, is on day one was we saw the evolution of the user base. Open source is all about collaboration, it's all about writing code and helping each other and there is a mass traction in the marketplace right now for enterprise grade, service provider, quality uh, uh, cloud and you hear end users. So to me, I've always said and my philosophy is you're judged by the company that you keep and here OpenStack has really big names here, on stage Bloomberg, Best Buy, Comcast, real end users. This isn't like you know, low level employees, these are SVPs of engineering, these are the top dogs that these companies really at massive scale implementing OpenStack and OpenStack really is not yet fully a done deal. There's still a lot more work to go, but the core OpenStack project is very, very solid. Still a lot of work to be done underneath OpenStack at the plumbing level and kind of the infrastructure level, and then work to get done above the OpenStack framework, which is you know, analytics, big data, all those enabling uh, applications or mobile apps, et cetera. So really big story here is not a lot of vendor hype, real use case scenarios, real people building product in the cloud uh, for a business. And I think that's the key takeaway for me and why we are here with the lights and the cameras and the interviews is we wanted to cover it like a blanket and hear from those people, those rock stars, those tech athletes as we say, and, and hear what they're working on. So we've got a big lineup today and uh, you know, the, the perspective is this is about developers, Jeff. Yeah, it is about developers and developers kind of retaking over the innovation and having the tools to to really easily do what they do, which is develop and create and break new ground and not have to worry about provisioning and POs and, and all, all kind of the inhibitors to them doing what they wanted to do, so that, that is great. If you uh, have a chance to check this, the Twitter stream, uh, you will see the excitement that, the, that people are expressing with some of these presentations. I guess the Best Buy one was, I think I knocked it out of the park. People are really excited about what they've been able to transform the way they can get uh, systems up and running using the OpenStack. Everyone's getting out right now of the keynotes, so they're going to go down and, and go to all the breakout sessions. Again, this is a working session. They actually have a room, John, downstairs, I don't know if you saw, where they got collaborators in there actually coding. They have the big like, shh, 
if you walk in the room, be quiet. We're uh, <laughs> we're actually creating we're creating code. Yeah, I mean, the, here the, as we the, speak, the mantra here is bring code to the table, and ultimately, like I said, you're judged by the company that you keep. So one, a lot of great people here, but more importantly, it's about building the future. And OpenStack is, is very humble, and I got to say, I'm really impressed with how they govern themselves, how they moved from you know initial skeptics, and we were kind of critical of OpenStack because I was I was personally worried that OpenStack would be a, a marketing program rather than putting meat on the bone. And okay, all usually you know you see these in industry alliances, it's all sizzle, no steak. Here, a lot of steak, a lot of meat on the bone, and it's really the key is the developers. And at the end of the day, the marketplace is exploding with, with growth. You know, there's an old expression in Silicon Valley, you get under this thermal and you get sucked up into the, into the growth market, and that's what these companies want to do, Jeff. The startups want to get in that thermal and get sucked up in market growth. They don't want to overbuild, they want to do the right thing. And the big guys are the incumbents. They're worried that their lunch is going to get eaten and ultimately they're Jenner. And so those guys are coming. You got HP, we heard from NetApp yesterday. NetApp's Filer product actually is very solid right now because that becomes an element in OpenStack and that's a good move by NetApp. We see Hortonworks here. Hortonworks is a version of Hadoop where you know, they're pure open source and they're playing that card. Their growth strategy, Hortonworks, is to be business oriented partnerships, get within the developers, contribute 100% back to the community and that's paying off for Hortonworks. They got great buzz here in the show and you're seeing them doing the kinds of deals where you bring Hadoop into OpenStack, and it's just the beginning, it'll, it'll just flower from there. Um, we had Service Mesh on yesterday, uh, Sean Douglas, he talked about orchestration. These are uh, the, the things that are around the corner for OpenStack. OpenStack is just really kind of at the bottom of the second inning, uh, or you know, could argue bottom of the first inning, Jeff, to use our yeah. baseball analogy, and, and the traction is real. This legitimate demand in the enterprises, there's legitimate demand in the service providers because they want to either roll their own cloud, have their own SaaS infrastructure, because software as a service is the holy grail in this new modern era, and making SaaS happen or software as a service is you need to have a platform and you have to have the infrastructure. That's infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, that's where the action's going on, and it's moved from the hypervisor to into a bigger framework or an operating system type mindset, and this is where computer science guys will really shine, coding gets done, and again, it validates the trends we are following and we coined called software-led infrastructure. Software is eating the world, as Mark Andreessen said it, and Andreessen Horowitz. That's the key enabler here, and I'm telling you, it's really, really exciting to see the developers. Yeah, yeah, and this is just all about moving the inhibitors out of the way. Getting out of the way of good software development, and, and that's, uh, that's pretty phenomenal. And also leveraging just the phenomenal changes in scale that we're seeing in computing power by bringing all that to bear efficiently and effectively for people to put to use. So if you have any questions, um, go to siliconangle.com, that's our website, that's the reference point for tech innovation, emerging technology, we cover all the big trends in, in technology, as well as the enterprise. Enterprise is converging in, it's a hot area right now, we've been covering it for, for a while, and of course we've been covering cloud, mobile, and social. Go to wikibon.org and go and check out all the free research. Our business model is free content, Wikibon is the the analyst group of choice for free, real-time information, wikibon.org. You can go look around there, and if you go to wikibon.org slash big data, you can see some of the work we've done around big data. Search for software-led infrastructure, you'll see the work that David Floyer is doing, and you know, we'll, hear, we'll hear from David Floyer later today at 2.40 uh, Pacific time, where he's going to give us the download of what happened yesterday at the analyst meeting. They had one-on-one -on -one interactive sessions with Bloomberg, Comcast, talking about things like message queuing and other, other real hardcore tech like highly available databases, availability of message queues, how hardware platforms tightly integrate with, with OpenStack, um, how to do storage in a highly available fashion, and all these things underneath the covers of OpenStack. And then on top of OpenStack, you know, you know boring little stuff like log aggregation or the hypervisor. This stuff matters and these are the little in between the toes details, Jeff, that people care about. You know, future efficiencies, future operational efficiencies. How do you take cloud, leverage the economics and the power of it, and how do you make it run operationally efficient with legacy hardware? So again, a lot of great tech here, a lot of great founders, uh, and an amazing uh, event. The, the keynotes were packed, yeah. packed house, and uh, I'm sure everyone's blown away at OpenStack Foundation. We heard some, some folks yesterday about you know, how impressed they were with the growth, and again, they're expecting the next show to be pretty massive. Yeah, it's funny, uh, that, that's the other uh, consistent uh, theme in the tweets, is we need more space, <laughs> we need more space. People are blown away by how many people are here, and, 
and if you've ever been to a, kind of an early stage of a show of a new technology, it is all about people here sharing ideas, helping each other out, really trying to grow the base of the, uh, of the technology, and it's not a vendor fair. Um, they do have a little area of the, of the sponsors, and they're, they're all small, they're all scrappy, yeah, I mean, they're it, all ready to it's roll. It's what you, what you love about a show, right? Yeah. Conference has been getting um, their ass handed to them lately, around, oh yeah, conferences are a payola. This, this is not a big, a lot, not a lot of flair here with no. the vendors. They're small, you got startups mingling with the big whales, but really it's about the content of the developers and the code. Who is putting up the code? who is putting out the products to build on it, and uh, we'll be commenting on it all day. If you're interested and want to interact with theCUBE, go to Twitter, I'm at Furrier, F-U-R-R-I-E-R, at -E uh, SiliconANGLE, at Wikibon, at DeVellante, and you know, text us or, and, and or tweet us questions. You want to, what you want to hear, what you want to talk about. Yeah. We're here to extract the signal from the noise. This is theCUBE, our flagship program, we, where we do that, and we want to share that with you. So, um, you know, the OpenStack Summit, again, in summary, day one's in the books, this is the beginning of day two. Next up, we're going to hear from the CTO of, of Rackspace, um, find out you know, why they were interested in OpenStack, why they were so motivated, the passion behind putting it out there, and the business reasons underneath it. And we want to share more and more data with you here inside theCUBE. Yep, let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, so we'll be back. So follow us here at siliconangle.com, and uh, again, tweet to us, tweet with us. The hashtag is uh, hashtag pound open stack, all one word, and a uh, lot of interactions, a lot of details, a lot of great stuff. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick. We'll be here all day long, day two, blanket coverage of OpenStack here in Portland, Oregon. We're live on the ground getting all the action, and we'll be back with our next guest after this short break. <laughs>